Hi there guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here and welcome to another video. And I'm in some woodland today, a bit of broken up woodland that stretches along a hillside mixed coniferous deciduous woodland and it's been hit pretty hard by grey squirrels and the chap who owns this woodland has asked me to come in and have a look around see whether I can thin them out and supposedly the population is fairly high here and they're doing a lot of ring barking damaging a lot of trees and a lot of the new trees that have been planted are really taking a hammering. So I'm going to see if we can thin some of those out and I can put them in my freezer and have them for dinner at a later stage. And also uh, there's wood pigeon, a lot of wood pigeon around here. It'd be nice to get some of that as well and hopefully as the day quietens down towards the evening the activity will pick up as far as wood pigeon's concerned. But let's take a look around, see what we can hear, see what we can see and uh, try and get some grey squirrel. The trick really with grey squirrels around here, or anywhere really, is noise. Often you won't see them but if you walk slowly and you take your time you'll hear them feeding and they'll be chewing on various things, dropping litter. And that's really a key sign to picking up squirrel, they drop litter everywhere. And by litter I mean bits of twigs, branches, whatever they're feeding on. And I can actually hear it happening around me now, it's just pinpointing the area where the squirrel is. These conifers aren't too tall, so I'm not going to have a difficult job of taking a shot up there when I do see the squirrel. I'm using a pretty heavy shot as well, so it should punch through whatever's in its way. It's always best to check a squirrel that's dead before you pick it up because it will take a chunk out of you. But that looks like a good one. So that's two in a row from the same tree, literally moments after each other and uh, they were obviously both up there feeding and I knew they were there because I could hear bits dropping from the tree, the little needles and things that they're eating dropping down and it gives away their location very easily and you can often just walk straight under um, because they're so high up and they're obviously feeding, they're generally not too fussed provided you don't make too much noise. But I'm going to hang these up somewhere now because they've undoubtedly got fleas on them. They generally do squirrels, so I'll suspend them in a branch and I'll keep making my way through these conifers, seeing what I can find. Hopefully more squirrel if I can pinpoint where their location is. He 
it's not too difficult to tell where the pigeons enjoy roosting in this woodland. There's a lot of droppings just here and we've got some feathers and even some down feathers as well dotted around here. We've got some great cover, this is yew, Taxus baccata. It's a, a very very nice tree actually, a conifer provides a great deal of cover for wood pigeon. You wouldn't really be able to see them in here unless they started to move. You could walk straight past this and not see a thing. But it's good for me because it provides a bit of a overhang for me to hide under and I'm in the darkness as well so their eyesight won't have quite adjusted properly as they're coming in and uh, be, I'll be able to take some shots. So I'm going to wait here a little while. So that was a nice clean hit. The bird was stationary in a tree just up there, took a full hit 35 yards away and even though it flew straight after it was hit that was just a burst of adrenaline. It crashed moments later, literally less than a second after flying it tumbled through the tree line and smacked down just here because it had been hit very vitally and it had obviously died quite quickly after being shot. But that's a nice pigeon. I won't check its crop, I can see that the crop is actually empty. The crop is where food is stored in a sack here prior to entering the gizzard where the bird breaks it down and you can check that sometimes to see what they're eating but they're landing so frequently around here it's obviously a roosting spot. Droppings and feathers are everywhere so I might as well keep this position here and see what else I can get and just remain still as I've been waiting about one and a half hours for this one bird but not moving or burning any resources, which is the, the good thing about that way of hunting. But this can go in my pack. Unlike the squirrels, this won't be riddled with fleas. They'll need to be handled in a bit of a different way at the end of the day. And I'll put them in a carrier bag and uh, transport them home that way and then deal with them there. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. thought I'd take you with me to do a bit of shooting. Pigeons were a bit too quick for me today. I did get one that was stationary, but the others were moving really quick with the wind. See if I can get some next time I'm out. But we did get two squirrels as well, which is always good. Those are further up in the woods. I'm going to have to go and fetch those, put them in a carrier bag, stop the fleas jumping all over the truck on the way home. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Take care, guys.